Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Evernote as a beginner. What is Evernote and who should use Evernote? Well, Evernote is for everyone, whether you're a student, a business owner, or just an individual overall that is looking for a good app that you'll be able to take notes, write down different tasks, and also schedule and plan out future projects. Evernote is definitely an app that you should give a try. And another feature that I love about Evernote is that it is compatible with not only your laptop and PC, but you can also use it on your phone. And also you can get started for free. So in case you're wondering if Evernote is only good for taking notes, you can see right here by going up to their features, you'll also be able to use their web clipper. And by the way, I'll be showing you how each of these features work individually. So don't worry about that. You can also scan documents and you can also add your calendars. So for example, if you have a Google calendar that you would like to integrate into Evernote, you can do that. Evernote to me is like a digital planner 2.0 or better yet a journal 2.0. Remember, we used to have the old-time journals that we'd write in. Well, Evernote is an upgraded version of that. And in case you're wondering what is offered on the free plan, as you can see right here, you'll be able to take notes and you'll also be able to sync up to two devices. And for the monthly uploads, you'll get 60 MB and also the max note size is 25 MB. And you'll be able to get organized with over three widgets, as you can see right there. And now that we know about Evernote and also some of the features, the first thing you're going to do is tap on Get Started. After you have selected Get Started, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can continue with your Google account. Or you can enter your email right here and also create a password, then tap on continue. But for now, I'll tear signed in. I want you to look on the left hand menu option. And from here, you will see your name, your username at the top right here. Then you're going to see new. If you were to tap on new, you would see note and task. So this is where you'll be able to create a new note and also task. And if you were to scroll down, you can see shortcuts, notes, tasks, notebook, and tags. So you can create tags, as you can see right here, to help you to find different notes or so on quicker. But what I want you to do first is go up to the top left-hand corner, and you're going to tap on settings. After selecting settings, if you would like to change it from light mode to dark mode, you could do that by tapping on any one of the options right here. And also, if you would like to add a calendar, you could tap on calendar and you could integrate a calendar right there. And also you can select the login and security and you can check that out. And you can also connect other devices right here or you could remove other devices by tapping on devices. Once you have done that and it is to your liking, I want you to close out of that and from here, I want you to look onto this dashboard. You can see the scratch pad right here on which you can write down any little thing that you want. So you can scratch down anything real quick. And also you can tap on the three dots in line with the scratch pad. And if you would like to convert it to a note, you can. If you want to clear the scratch pad, you can also do that. And if we like to start taking our first note, we can tap on create new note. After you have tapped on create new note, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all you have to do is tap on the title section right here. And you can type in your title, for example, test. Then you can start writing. And to go big screen or to expand the note, all you have to do is tap on this square in the top left hand corner. And from here, you can start typing right here. So you could type out whatever you want. For example, I'll type hello. And also, if you would like to change the font size, you can do that from the menu option at the top right here. You could increase the font size if you want. You can also change the font color if you want. 
and you can make it bold or italic if you want and you can also underline it and if it is a case that you would like to add a link when you are taking your notes you could tap on the link icon and from here you could add an external link or if you would like to add an internal link for example of a previous note you could tap on select note and you could search for that particular note that you would like to refer then you'll tap on apply and that's how you'll be able to add a link and also if you would like to for example add a excuse me a table or so on you could do that by going over to the top left hand corner and right where you see insert you are going to tap on that and from here you could select table and after you have selected the table from here you could add the contents of your table so for example I'll name it left and this side right and also if you would like to change the color of the table you can by tapping on the arrow pointing down and from here you can change the color of each section or column so you can see right here and also you can tap right here and you'll be able to add more and if you would like to insert something else you could tap on insert and from here you can scroll down and if you would like to add an attachment you can if you would like to insert an image you could also do that and if you would like to insert a code you can do that also you could also insert a sketch and if you would like to insert something from Google Drive you could do that by selecting Google Drive once you are finished you could share it if you want by tapping on the top right hand corner and you could select share and right beside share you will see three dots right where you see more if you would like to email it you could tap on email a copy and also if you would like to duplicate it you could tap on duplicate right here and you could also add this note to shortcuts or you could copy an internal link as you can see right there and that's it once you're finished you'll minimize it right here from the top left hand corner and then I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select task as I'm going to be showing you how to add a new task. So you are going to tap on new task. Then from here you can enter the task name. For example, I'll just say create video. After you have added the task, these options right here for today are so on to put when you would want the task to be completed. You would have to be a paid subscriber on Evernote to use these features. But you could tap on create task. Once you have created the task as you can see right here it will be available on the left hand menu option. And you will also see the option notebooks. You can access your notebooks and you can also add tags. Another thing when you are taking notes, for example, if I were to go back to the note that we had created earlier, let me go back to this note. Once you have created the note, what I would like you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on home. Once on home, you can go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see customize. And from here, if you wanted to change the background image, you could. All you'll have to do is tap on change. But to change the background image, you would have to be a paid subscriber on Evernote to do that. So another thing that you can also do on Evernote, as I was showing you earlier, you can also add web clips. So for example, if you would like to refer a particular section of your notes or your jottings to a web clip or you just like to add an extract from the web onto your notes, you can do that by tapping on clip web right here. Then you'll see the option to install the web clipper. So all you'll have to do is scroll up and you'll be able to add it to Chrome. And if we were to scroll down, you can see some of the features that would you will be able to access by doing this. As you can see right here, you can go full page. You can also clip a particular section of any note. And you can also add PDFs, as you can see right here. There are numerous features that would be available by installing 
Evernote Web Clipper. So if you would like to do that, you can do that for completely free. And you'll also be able to see your images and documents in this section right here. And you can also see the audio and emails that you have sent in the past. And that's it. That's basically how to use Evernote. And that's all it has in store at the moment. As you can see, majority of the features on Evernote, to access it, you'll need to be a paid subscriber. But if you would just like to add basic notes and jottings and also just basic extracts from the web, you can use Evernote for free and you'll like it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.